Hey everyone, so on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're going to be discussing how to adjust the idler arm tension here on your printer. Obviously we have the Genius again, but the point is, it's the same for both machines. So, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you probably should not be messing with your idler tension, but if it is ridiculously tight or it is ridiculously loose, then yes, you have a valid reason to do it. The only reason why I say this is, it's one of those things like bed leveling, everybody has their own idea of what's good enough, so obviously a little bit of experimentation is needed. But, I digress. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to twist this knob towards when I say towards myself, I'm standing on the stepper motor side of the machine. So really we're going to want to twist the knob towards the stepper motor. And just going to do that until it completely bottoms out. Okay, it's bottomed out. Don't force it. The idea is we just want to back the tension off all the way. And you can see that, yes, there is like no tension on here. So to help facilitate the checking of the tension, I'm going to be marking the filament here with a marker so we have a visual guide to see if the filament is pulling in or not. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, maybe using green marker wasn't my brightest to move alive, but oh well. So what we're gonna do is I have the machine set up in the filament loading and unloading screen, and we're just gonna load in the filament like we would normally. And we're gonna observe here, you can probably see that as the gear is turning the filament sure doesn't want to move. Definitely a sign that our tension is not anywhere near what it should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist the little knob here. I'm just going to estimate one turn and if it helps you can also make a colored mark on the wheel with something that's contrasting. So already I can feel we have a little more tension. I'm just going to repeat the process. Pull it in. You'll notice already it's feeding in a lot more consistently. It's still not perfect. I mean, just ever so light pressure from my finger can stop it, which is not good, but it's a lot better than it was before. So I'm just going to do it a little more. And repeat it again. This time I am going to keep my finger here on the filament just to provide a tiny bit of resistance. I'm not going to be pinching it and trying to physically stop it. The idea is I'm just trying to create a little bit of friction to see how well it's feeding. Okay, that's actually doing really good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three fingers and I'm not going to be pinching this. Like I said, this is just to provide a little bit of a little more resistance. So let me double check. And also I can feel if it feels like it's running consistent or not, which yeah, I think I've got it. So there. So really the whole point with doing this is So there, now we have our tension set. So really the whole point behind this is we're just trying to make it so that when we load the filament, I can have my fingers on here providing a little bit of drag and yet it is feeding in. I can feel it's feeding consistently. It's not like, you know, I can still grab it and stop it, but it's not like it's trying to not feed. So that kind of gives a good metric of what you want. Obviously, if you find that you need a little more tension, you can just twist it towards the uh, motor there a little bit. When you get close, definitely move it a little bit, then feed it in. At that point, you're just fine-tuning it. And I'm going to say, you know what, I think that's perfect right there. So, I hope you found this useful. Obviously, don't go adjusting your tension unless it's absolutely necessary, because it's one of those things where hopefully it came set correctly from the factory, but if you notice that when you try and flex this back, it's taking a ton of force, like you're really having to struggle. 
you might want to back it off all the way and then creep up. Because I do know there are some people who have claimed that the tension was wrong and that's how they managed to break their idler. I will say, knock on wood, that this one on my Genius and the one on my X1 has seen way more abuse than I care to admit. Both of those are the stock plastic ones and I've never had any issues with them, but I've also never really tweaked the tension because I felt like it was pretty good from the factory. So, hope you found that useful, and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.